Hello and welcome back to our channel. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a video on this Brinzu Ovation X. This is a 56 agar and uh, I got requested to do a, a video on how to set all the settings that are required to hatching out eggs. So um, that's what I'm, this video is going to be about today. Um, so thank you Desilin for your comment and uh, this is for you and whoever else stumbles upon this video and is a little bit confused as to how to set this thing up. Um, I'm going to start off by saying this is a very simple incubator once you get your head around it. Um, there is a few things that are quite a bit different than your typical, say, uh, little giant uh, styrofoam incubators or the Hovabator or all this stuff. This has a, quite a bit more technology to it and um, it's quite successful in hatching out eggs. Like We're very, very impressed with it. Um, this is our second incubator that we bought. So last year we bought one and uh, we're so impressed with the hatch rate that we bought another one just because we plan to do a lot of hatching this year. So I'm going to walk you guys through on how to set this thing up um, exactly how you need to. Here we go guys, stick around. We're going to walk through the settings here. So when your uh, stock uh, pad runs out, um, which it doesn't typically last more than a couple hatches, this is what I usually do. I just get some paper towel and just kind of roll it up like that and then just size it up for these channels here. Just stick it in there and then it'll basically do the same job as the original uh, pads that come with it. Again, if you want to see all this stuff, it's all in my last video on this incubator. So I just take this and fold it up and it typically, you can you can hatch out eggs with these not in it, but I tend, I find that putting something in there to absorb all the water, it gives it, you a little bit more consistent um, humidity. So we'll just put that back in there. And I'll just, uh, so once that pad's in there, I'll just set this up as if we're going to about to put all our eggs in the incubator. It's always tough doing this upside down, but without my fancy dancy video equipment, which I don't have, uh, we're going to make this work. Okay, so those are the rails that you put your eggs in, obviously, and then that gear is there, so you just got to keep in mind where your motor is and stick it on top there. Now this is a little bit of a tricky part. You got to make sure that your gear lines up with the turner gear. And so um, that's one thing to watch for is if that's not lined up, it's going to lift up your lid and then this thing's going to fight forever to try to compensate for the loss of humidity. So that's one thing to make sure that you're tightly sealed all around the outside. And uh, my wife has even sometimes taped the seals just to get, keep it even more consistent. So that's, something that you might have to play around with. And then, so we'll put the tube in the water and then we will plug this bad boy in and then you'll initially, it'll initially start to go to factory settings. So they will get that beep and that means everything's all firing up. And then it's gonna all automatically tell you what the humidity and temperature is in, the, in this incubator. And so, um, when it's flashing P like that, that means it senses a power outage. So it's just going to basically um, try to get everything back to normal. Um, this line right here, spinning, that means that the pump is going to get ready to start raising the humidity. But at this point, it, it reads at 66% humidity. So there might be a chance that we're not going to see that pump go um, in this video. But we'll see what happens here. 
So I'll just open that right up to let more humidity out. So uh, to walk through this, um, always, always consult your manual. Um, there's a lot of good information in here. And so, um, but basically all you have to do is see this plus and minus here. Um, that will unlock it so you can access your settings. So you press them both together and then you're in the settings menu. Um, to move over, um, you use the plus and minus, but we'll just go through all the settings here. So this is your temperature setting, so press OK. And then that's what it's set at right now, 37.4. So you just move it up, 37, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever, 38, or move it down like that and then you press ok and then it'll bring you to the next one that's relative humidity press ok and this this it'll tell you x only so this model only you can adjust the relative humidity because this one has the pump that will automatically um, pump water or not pump water to keep it consistent so then th that's set up at 56 percent we typically do 55 so just press the minus button and then press OK. And then this is your turning mode. So T mode turning, press OK for that. And then um, it's basically on or off. So um, press OK, turn interval, turn interval 45 minutes, 40 minutes. We just, we always keep it at 45 minutes just because it's never not worked for us. We've never really messed around with the turn interval. And then the alarm high. This is where you can uh, set an alarm for um, whether or not your humidity is high or low. So you can really dial these things in. We don't typically mess around with it because it's, we find it's very consistent the way it just works. But um, you can press OK and then you can set your high alarm for 2 degrees plus or minus. And you can always change that 2.3 press minus plus minus whatever so then just pr press ok alarm low so that's not enough humidity obviously so you press ok again and then this one's set for 2.9 degrees low so again you can always plus or minus what you want to try out there and then press ok again cooling um we've never really messed with the cooling here um, there's a lot of uh, different ways to hatch out stuff. And uh, from what I understand, this cooling setting is kind of, um, it it shuts the, the temperature off a little bit just to let the eggs cool down. And uh, st it'll start back up again for a certain amount of time. So we always have ours off, but you can, again, set it for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's... And it'll go all the way up to 300. Wow, I didn't realize it went up this high. Yeah, so 360 sec mins, minutes, I guess. So that's a long time. So I don't know. We typically don't mess with this. So we just leave that off. Press OK again. CF, I can't remember what that is, but when in doubt, we'll uh, go through here. Temperature relative CF. Celsius Fahrenheit. Okay, I should have known that, I guess. Um, so this is a Celsius Fahrenheit. So it, whether whatever temperature... Uh, values you come into. We're from Canada, so we're always in Celsius. So you just press OK, display Celsius, OK, but you can change that with your plus and minus. So we'll put it back to Celsius. And then that's the last of the settings. So once you've changed all your settings, you just press OK again because it says save, OK, and save. So this incubator is going to work up to all your settings that you changed in there. So, yeah, we're not going to see the pump turn because 76, it's it's uh, it's set for 55, I believe. We could actually set that 
to Okay, the relative humidity it's set for 55 percent and we know that this thing is sensing it to be 76 so we can raise this all the way up see how far we can do it we can raise it to 80 percent so that might be able to tell it get the pump going here okay 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 minutes okay 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 save okay okay so this thing is technically set for 80 percent humidity so in a, in a minute or two we should see this trying to pump some water in there to raise up that humidity so so yeah that's uh basically how to run through the menu again if you have any if i did it anything too quickly you can always pause and rewind but if you have any more questions please let me know in the comments but if in doubt, when you have this incubator, this thing is very, very accurate and it tells you exactly what to do with this thing. Um, while I'm on with you guys, I want to uh, show you the what's that tube. There's a tube in here that uh, wraps around the pump. And so the pump tube and this tube are two, two separate things. I'm not going to rip it apart if you want to see that happen again look at my last video because it's quite a big pain to get this tubing back onto the little nipples there so um, if you want to watch how that's done just uh, just to watch that video um, but this is the diagram that will tell you um, how long to cut that tube that fits around that pump you can't just guess with this because it's a very precise measurement it says it's 4.3 inches so yeah if you if you just want a something to go for for to cut that tube that fits inside here this is the measurement to go to so i usually just grab my tube and line it up with the ends of there and just snip it and then that'll be the right length so okay so uh this thing's trying to get up to 80 percent that's what i set it up remember and then so you can see the pump turning and it's gonna to try to get up to that 80% that I set it up. That's way too high, just to let you know. Uh, we typically go down to 50%, but it was sensing 76% as you've seen for um, inside the box there. So that's our jug of water. The tube comes up into that pump, and then that's the discharge there, and you can see it dripping there. And then that water is gonna flow down that trough and then down the trough, that yellow part there, and right into that pad that we put in. So it's gonna do a good job. It's gonna bring it up to wherever it thinks, and then once it senses the humidity, it'll shut off and then it'll be good. But you'll see that thing turning every once in a while just to keep that humidity. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of this in incubator. Um, like I said before, you're gonna have to do some fooling around depending on which area you're in, how dry it is, how wet it is. And, uh, but that's all, I think any incubators like that, but, um, once you get your head around this incubator, it's very simple to use and extremely accurate. So, um, I wouldn't, it, I wouldn't recommend any other incubator, but this one, it's, it's, it's been really, really good to us. And like I said before, it's our second one. So, um, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this helps whoever's wondering about it. And, uh, please let me know in any comments, uh, what you've done with these machines and what 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 you've experienced and what you've figured out. Um, I've said this before, we're all in this together and to figure this out is is a kind of a community effort. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again.